Good morning and welcome back to Escaping the Daily Grind. Today I'm going to be making a stew and it is almost time to be picking these these carrots. Excuse my rooster in the background. Now they are past the point that the seed packet said that they're ready but I've noticed that when I was picking the Parisian carrots it just took a little longer for some reason I'm not sure why so let's go ahead and get some carrots need them for the stew. Well not huge but it'll work. Let's see if we can find a, a bigger one. Well, stayed short. So I'm not sure what that's about. It is fat, but it's short. Now, these are the rainbow carrots. So this one's bright red. This one's going to be purple. Let's see if I can find a white one. White carrot. I'm also going to pick a couple of the orange ones. It's really awesome to be able to just come out and pick what you need instead of having to go to the grocery store. I really enjoy it. Let's see. Well, not huge. I picked one of these a while back and it was real long. So I'm not sure what these smaller ones are about. There we go. That's a real carrot. Also, I need a turnip. So here we go. Now this is a good sized turnip. Well, I'm going to be taking the other one with me. There we go. Get that dirt back in there. You know, root veggies are so good for the for the dirt. It really kind of aerates the soil and everything, but it's not a bad turnip. I also want a couple daikon radishes. So let's find some that are ready. And I'm, I'm leaving the other carrots, by the way, because I'm going to let them get even larger. Uh, not bad. That'll work. There we go. Let's get one more. Let's find some a little closer together here. Oh, well that turned out short. It's funny how some of these turn out quite short. Let's get one more. All right, well, fairly short also. Let's go ahead and get the tops off and feed them to the chickens. So I just break the tops off, toss them in. Chickens love it. And they, they like the carrot tops too. There we go. Nice feast for the chickens. All right, let's get all the dirt off. Those are pretty cool carrots. I like these purple ones. Really cool. I've also got rutabaga here, but I don't think they're big enough. I'd love to be able to put some in the stew, but it's basically it's just gonna be beef and a uh, bunch of root veggies. I'm also going to throw in a cabbage. Now I've got from the store a purple cabbage. However, I might see if I can salvage this one. This one's pretty much ready. So real simple. Just cut it off at the base with the knife. I'm going to let the roots, excuse the chicken. I'm going to let the roots kind of die in the soil here. You can either peel off those, but I think it's a little easier just to cut those extra leaves off. And I'm going to let the leaves stay here and kind of help make this soil a little better. You know, sometimes there's big winds, sometimes there's not. But either way, that's not a bad harvest here. So I think I'm going to get one more carrot here. That'll work. I'm going to go hose it off. I need one more. One more of the purple just to give some nice color. And by the way, it is December 6th, so you guys can see the timing here. Again, I went a little over what it said. Um, I think these are up to 80 days, same with those. And I think I'm well over that. So I would say, if you're growing carrots, you might not want to just stick straight to the seed packet and pull right that day. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. Well, I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.